Hello everybody, I am the Demon Werewolf here, back for another episode of Plants vs. Zombies with our new element. For this, um, for this one you will want to, well if you're going to play by my style of picking up the new plants for each one of them, you do not want to bring Snopey into this level because they, I, I don't know what they do, but I do know their effects don't mix. I do know that much. So whatever you do, do not bring your snow, snow pea into this level. They are totally worthless. I'm gonna bring in some spike weed. Oh man, this is one thing I already hate. With our new element already, I won't be able to show off its power that much because of the kind of zombies we're getting. However, I will still try and do my best. Um, I almost, oh shoot, I almost forgot. I need a um, potato mine. There we go. I'm going to try and play this one up to the boss of the level, um, and if I go a little bit past the normal 15 stuff I'm trying to do now, eh, so what, don't care. And this is probably going to be the last one for the night, I'm running out of things to talk about again. But, last time I went over, um, that one, that one, I debated about that one, I haven't really talked about the game all that much. Because, sadly, there isn't all that much to talk about, again, for me. Um, one thing I did want to do, admittedly, with the whole Nintendo games, was do a Mario game at one point. Because their... I find with their games, they at least get something down that a lot of less players can get behind. They change up the pace and the kind of stages so that you have more to talk about. There's more to explain, more tricks to show off, just more ways to do things. With games like Plants vs. Zombie, it's kind of straightforward as to what to do. You can't really keep talking about the old stuff that they keep throwing at you. Granted, you still do need the old stuff, but it's all kind of the same. So there's that. Although, wait, I might be wrong, but I think there is one new thing here right by our lawn where I think we have a table. We have a cookout, a little shrimp on the bar there. I will never say that again. I know Australians call them prongs. I I want to know where that saying came from. I want to say I knew at one point, but I don't remember anymore. I don't remember for life. Oh, ah, well. Uh, I've been watching a lot of other Let's Players lately. Oh, yeah. One thing I never did get across that I wanted to get across while I was on my whole rant was I want to know what you guys are playing and how it's been turning out for you lately. No spoilers, please, for any games, but aside from that, just tell me how it's going for you guys. I want to hear from my fans, I really do. One thing that, I, that I'm that i happy to see is another one of my fans, uh, you guys know him as Manny G, Manny Well G, I want to say, or is it Manny G Well, I don't remember. But he comments on most of my videos, even if it's negative or positive, I'll still try and respond to him, just, and I do uh, listen to him, I actually talk to him, I hang out with him. He's more of a friend than a fan, I think, because uh, I actually ask, I admit, I ask people sometimes to watch it, watch the videos. I do wish it didn't have to be like that, I, I know, but, oh uh, well, what are you gonna do? You gotta start somewhere. Asking your friends to watch, I think, is the first thing you do. I guess that just means I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> Wait, there's no onion, I can't cry. <laughs> Uh, that's another plant type they should have included, was, the, uh, was an onion. Because so I think this was made before, no, maybe right around the same time as Pikmin. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was some problem, but eh, who knows, who cares. Anyways, if you guys have noticed, I have not been putting out Torchwood yet. I know you might think that's strange if you haven't played this game yet, as to why I'm not doing it. He has a strange effect, you could say. He does introduce us to our new element, which if you cannot guess, you're an idiot, I think. But the way he does it is through help. He's not like Snoopy, he cannot simply do his automatically, so we kind of need some backup. So I'm getting the backup down first so he doesn't get destroyed while we're trying to plant him out. Speaking of which... Um, speaking of which, there we go. That one is just like a pole bulging zombie, and with one exception, it's in the water. Come on, shoot him again, shoot him again. Please shoot him again, please kill, please kill. Um, that was actually stupid of me. Very stupid at that. 
Oh well. Oh shoot, no, that was stupid, but oh well. Uh, okay, anyways, now we can actually probably start laying down. Oh, I didn't have enough sun. Okay, now we do. Now we can start laying them down. As you'll see, they'll go across, if you couldn't tell through the intro, they'll go across and they'll spit like little meteors out instead. Granted, they're not from space, but still. But because of that, they'll do double damage they normally did. So, where this row will be doing four, four bits of damage for every time those things go off, this one will be doing eight. Yeah, you can just see how much damage they do. So much damage. So much destruction. So much pain and misery. So much burnt dead flesh. And I am not enjoying him. Get out! I always do like doing that though, just to put one little cheap plant out to stop those old full bolters from get going. And obviously, yeah, they do. Excuse me, they still do jump over. Oh, why can't I talk? They still do jump over the ammo whenever they are in their little jumping animation, so they are invincible for a small amount of time, which does stink, but it's like, yeah, oh well. Anyways, we're gonna have a final way about, and you can see how much damage we're gonna do with this guy now. Oh, that is not good right there. That is not good whatsoever, but obviously the fifth row down Oh yeah, the fifth row. The fifth row down here is going to be the one last because obviously it didn't have any fire back up, therefore, yeah. Now we have our ultimate defense. A wall... Well, it's not our ultimate defense yet. It is a walnut. It's a heavy-duty wall that cannot be vaulted over. That's your answer to a lot of zombie problems right there, people. A lot of zombie problems. And I was about to outro when this was just our first bloody well level. Ah, uh, well. What can I say? I I got little to go off of, like I said last time. Uh, repeater. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Personally, I'm always torn on which one of these to go for first. I'm always torn. This is my second playthrough of the damn game. I'm not always torn. This is my first time being torn. Uh, first time, I actually just went for the eight seat slots. Now I know better. Now I go know to go for one of these two first. And personally, I go for the I'm gonna go for the double sunflower first. And you can invest in some rakes. They'll pretty much kill off the first zombie for the stage, which is kind of nice. But it's kind of like getting an extra 25 sun, I guess you could say right off the bat, which is nice, but not required. Not required by any means. Uh, twin sunflower. I will not count him as part of this level. I'm gonna count him as um something after our final uh, stage. I'm going to read those off on the final stage, after the final stage, because these are things you more get in the after game, in my opinion. But in any case, uh, what else will go with this? Um, I don't know. Eh, yeah, squash. Squish, squash. Okay, time to play. But yeah, I'd like to hear about what other, what other games you guys are doing. Granted, I'm not going to like every title out there. Granted, I don't like every genre out there. But I still like hearing from people. Even if it's just, well, eh, I'm playing this. Cool. Cool. I know that sounds really stupid, but it's just more... I, I want to try and get involved with my own audience. And the thing is, I'd like to actually, again, work up to a system where eventually I'll have enough fans or enough support that I do get the comments to try something like, for instance, Josh Jefferson's doing Fallout right now. I would be doing Fallout as well, but uh, it's just the amount of views and comments I get, it doesn't really allow me, but I would love to do it. I'd love to do something like that where I'm influenced by comments. Hell, I'd even go evil. Pure evil, pure good, I don't care. I would just love to be able to try something like that, even for Skyrim. Ooh, maybe definitely Skyrim. I'd love to do Skyrim, in fact. I'd love it even more than Fallout. With one exception, I'd probably bore you guys to tears because of my... I'd probably bore you guys to tears because of my playstyle of that. Eh, 
Yeah, unless I got one thing, but oh well. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try and stay more on the game for the rest of the episode if I can. Granted, it's really hard for me because it's just the same opening normal zombies, closing normal stuff. It's... Well, I guess if nothing else, if you guys haven't seen already, we're, we're encountering more three flaggers than normal. Uh, crud. Can't actually do the... Eh, I'll just put this down and start putting out my attacks. Make one of them attempt. And then the shooter. Squish squash. Yeah. And another thing I'd like to hear about is what you guys used to watch as kids. I personally always loved watching stuff like Ed and Eddie. Oh, they were the best in my eyes. They were the absolute best. I'd sit through any kind of TV show just to watch an episode of them. I'd even, um, because. One thing we had to do was just trade off channels we'd like, me and my family, so whenever it was my turn, I'd s and I'd have to sit through all this, in my opinion, garbage. It was just, ugh. But when it was my turn, it was always worth it. It was like, oh man, and then the show would be all that much better, and oh my god, that pole bolt thing zombie scared me with how close it was. But yeah, it was always... It, it, Eh, I'm still kind of on a nostalgia trip, what can I say? Granted, I'm totally out of the drink now, but oh well. Oh, and um, another thing. Manny actually told me that, yeah, the Kool-Aid company still makes that stuff, and that's awesome. The only problem is I can't get my hands on it. Hey, Manny, if you want to send me your stuff, give it to me, man. I'll take it. I'll drink it. <laughs> it's delicious. Unless it's, like, expired or something, in which case you keep it. I don't need expired goods, people. Oh, um, last episode, I didn't bring this up, but it is a factor still. That spike weed we got, it cannot be planted on lily pads. Just like the potato mine can't be planted on them, it needs actual fertile ground. In this case, it makes a bit more sense, because... While with the potato mine, they simply, um, blow up, the spike weed needs them to walk over it. You can't really, they don't swim under the lily pad, they don't walk over the lily pad, they eat the lily pad. So in that one, as much as I hate it, it makes sense. It makes total sense. I'm actually going to try putting down some more support here, some more killer firepower. And a uh, flippin' bucket head. Oh, well, I'm betting it's not even going to get to this square here without my help. Actually, I shouldn't keep that bet, because I'd probably lose. One more. Okay, good. Because the last thing I need is to lose my firepower. And personally, I kind of like firepower just a little bit better because it lets you speed run a little bit. Because you gotta get rid of everything on stage, obviously. Because the firepower does more damage, whereas uh, the snow peel just slow them down, I do like the firepower just a little bit more. And not to mention if you got that other plant, because what that one does is is just kind of flipping overpowered, but you need that overpoweredness later on. Um, it's just, oh, geez, it, it's just setting up for a row of death and destruction when you put those two together. I probably should have gotten that, but I know I'm gonna be needing those double sunflowers later on, so I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in my choices whatsoever. Because we're gonna, we're actually pretty close to getting to the point where we will be needing that double sunflower, actually. And I'm not sure I could get enough money in time without hitting the mini games to have enough money to go there. So again, which money, 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 money. Um, I will say this much. As far as plans for this series goes, I do plan to go over to my um, actual finished file at some point just because I don't want to waste all the time there is getting all these plants unlocked that I already have done and I'm just going to tell you guys how to get to certain points with the uh, achievements and whatnot. and look these guys here shouldn't even be a problem they are a problem still and I probably should have just done this in the first place I really am an idiot for forgetting this stuff but as you saw, those uh, dolphin zombie guys echo a whole lot faster than the javelins. They they just whiz right by. Here I thought they'd be no problem. Nope! Yes again! We probably won't have enough time to get both of them. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, 
I don't know if it did anything to help him out, but it's very well. Okay, he's at gold coin. Get all that. But now you'll see, they'll jump, they'll fail, they'll miss, and these guys, I believe, have an even higher HP. I'm 99% certain they have a higher HP than even the Walnuts, so... There you go, there's a great solution, a great defense, and you can even make it greater later on. It's pretty much your great wall. <laughs> oh, come on, who didn't see that one coming? Can't blame me for that one, it was too easy. I'm actually going to start taking these guys out to increase the firepower again. Just because I do have all that sun I can use. You know, I'll probably won't be able to use all of that. And another Zomboni driver who just wants to use his entire death. Or free death or You guys need to answer that for me. What do you call a zombie that you totally kill, I guess? What would you call it? I just driving me batty. Okay. With this, we get another seed. Oh no. How many times are they gonna do this? Hello. We heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. And here we have the boss level for the pool. Pool party's over, people. I told you, go home. I don't want you here anymore. Just go. I'll call the police, I will. Anyways, um, with this one, this is the only stage I'd ever pull the three Peter good in just because you get you get them for free, because I mean the cost of them is just atrocious. That you're kind of stuck with them. At least you get your life saving squash in this, and because of that, you also get your jalapeno, which I will save up actually. I will try not to use it till the very end. There we go, that should cover us. That covers us lightly for all rows, but I definitely wish I could do more. I should do a whole lot more. Like this for one. Another one down, another one down, another one by first. I actually never pulled- I'm gonna be honest, I never heard that song finish. I never heard the finished version of that song. And I don't mean to say I'm so stupid as I think it's been incomplete for years. I just never listened to it all the way before. I admit it, so what? I don't- I'm not a big music buff, I gotta admit. That's something strange, actually, that I've done with a lot of stuff in my life is I won't exactly normally like a company, a band, an artist. And there are some extreme cases where I will, but in most cases, I just like one piece of their work and that's it. The rest, I really don't care about. How many other people have this kind of thing? I'm just wondering. It seems kind of strange. So it seems strange to a lot of other people I've met, too. I don't know if you guys find it strange or not, but... Oh, well, I guess I'll hear about it soon, though. Um, normally I wouldn't waste my time with... Oh, that's why. But we didn't go backwards? Whatever. Put another one there. Put one there. But you can see, he's not even... He doesn't even have a dent in him. Not a crack yet. He's been munching out for a good long while. He looks perfectly fine and healthy. That is a walnut, ladies and gentlemen. That is a kick-butt walnut. And I'm running out of material yet again. I think I ran out a while ago, and I know this episode of the... What the... Oh, the squash, that's right. Silly me. I'm gonna actually kill this one off a little bit faster. I'm gonna torch... Oh, torch wood. Torch wood. Okay, that's why it's called... I want to call it a torch shroom. I want to call everything a shroom lately. Oh, where's the wood thing? Everything's... I got this one. And when it comes to this boss level, I actually do have some advice. Greatly protect your up, uppermost and bottommost layers. They are going to need, need the most love and care out of all of them. 
And of course, put out a few wound pads because you're gonna have little else to get rid of some of the zombies. Oh man, I'm gonna put more there. Oh shit. Look, 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 kill him, kill him! Thank you. I don't want that fucking there. Stop here. Oh, this one's actually getting crazy up in here. I didn't even notice that much. Stop there. Get rid of that. Don't need it. And always oh, for the and then one more bit of advice for the. Oh, okay, now he's finally has some crackers in him. I don't know when it happened, but it happened. Um, you'll want to leave something way in back here just so you can use your jalapenos if need need be. I'm gonna put one there too, because that way you'll be able to save yourself in the long run. Otherwise, whoopsies, did not need to put that one there. Like right here, I could use it badly. Okay, maybe not badly apparently, but I can use you. And, oh, this wasn't the last one. I thought it was the last one. I was starting to use all my stuff. Whoopsies! Did it again. Alright, there we go, that one there. Lily Patty, I'll be totally secure with my setup here. Just one Lily Patty. That's all I need. All I need here. Even more secure. Just one more Lily Pad is not that much to ask for. Come on! One Lily Pad. You guys normally give them out like candy. Is it real? Okay, finally a Lily Pad. There we go. This should more than set you up for this map, if you can get lucky, lucky like I did, I guess, because admittedly I got very lucky with this one. They gave me some great plants to use right off the bat, so yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky in this one. I'm lucky. Way lucky. I mean, squash down there. I mean, I have this in the bag now. I have this holding in the bag. To lose now would just be utter failure. Speaking of which, Make sure nothing gets hurt. Nothing lives here. And now we get another mushroom. This one actually is a mushroom. And that's going to actually be the end of the episode. That's going to be the end of the pool level. And that's going to be the end of my recording session. In the next episode, we're going to move on to a totally new kind of level that we'll get into next time. I'm not even going to hit the X button for you guys. Sorry. We'll see you in the next episode. We'll go over the kind of plants we've gotten with the exception of the twin uh sunflower it's been a thrill doing this for you guys again i'm the demon werewolf good night and goodbye